Today, there is a perfect balance between the seasons. We are tilting towards winter, so in preparation, I have went foraging for elderberries. The equinox is a beautiful reminder to pause and find balance, to care for our bodies during the shift of seasons, so in this video, I'll be crafting an elderberry syrup. I wanted to have this little impromptu chatty moment out here, sort of like we've all taken a field trip out into nature together. It's such a beautiful day and I have found this gorgeous alcove filled with elderberries and thistle and there's even some rose hips that won't be ready for a couple of months but it's good to know that they're here. This entire hedgerow and you might even be able to see behind me, they're just thick and full and ripe and I've already picked half a basket full, which I think once they're dry is going to be the perfect amount to make an elixir. It's late summer now, it's almost September, and now is the perfect time if you're going to be making any immune boosting medicine. Uh, nature knows that it's the perfect time. It's why we have things like elderberries coming into ripeness and then later on the rose hips. And I just think it's a really beautiful reminder that nature takes care of us in that way and these things happen in cycles and of course you can get a cold anytime but I usually catch one in September so I am trying to prepare ahead of time. I've had a pretty busy weekend. My birthday just passed so I saw a lot of family and lots of social things that of course I had a great time but I was really in the mood I was really in need of having this quiet time in nature and just reconnecting back. I'm naturally an introvert, so situations like this where I'm just by myself doing my own thing, um, that's really where I thrive and though I love family and I love being social, it has its place. This is my recharge time, so I just wanted to take you along here and show you this gorgeous little space that I found and I'm just feeling so thankful. I just turned 30 and though again I don't know exactly where I'm going in life, I couldn't have told you 10 years ago that I would be pursuing something like herbalism or videography in any sort, but it's just so fulfilling and yeah. Thank you guys for following along with this journey and I'm so excited to share more and of course you're gonna see the crafting of this elderberry syrup, so it's just all so exciting. I'm definitely losing the light now, but I have just dumped these out and I'm separating them from the some of the stems that came away from the tree. And in the morning, I'm going to cook these down a little bit and then start the tincture. So I'll see you then.
I set these to dry this morning and it's only been a couple of hours and they are fully dry. I need to go through and pick out some of the stray stems, but other than that, we are good to go. So the elderberry dried down to just the right amount I need for this part of the tincture. It's hard to see because it's so dark, but they filled about a quarter of the way, one third of the jar, which is perfect if you're using a dried herb. You usually want to do a one to four ratio. So in this case, it's going to be a quarter full of elderberries and the rest, I'm, I'm going to use brandy on this one. Good morning. I've just discovered a new little um, alcove to this pond area and I'm hunting some more elderberries to make the other part of my elixir. I'm doing half brandy and the other half is honey. And I've made the brandy part but now I need to dry some out for the honey. And just in general I'm enjoying the, the early morning and it feels like fall. I know it's fake fall. It's still late August here in Georgia, so we're gonna have another month or so of heat. But yeah, I'm just enjoying the cool, crisp morning and hunting elderberries. And there we have it. I was really eager to get this started because it's going to take a few weeks to infuse. So now we just sit back and wait. 